Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to make time I interrupt with cube IDE. This one blinks every 200 millisecond. This one every 300 millisecond. This one every 700 millisecond. Let's build this one. Wiring diagram is here. Short a pin of LED connected through 100 to 500 ohm resistor to ground. Longer pin of LED connected to A2, A3 and A4. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Now we can click RCC. For the high speed clock, we select Crystal Ceramic Resonator. Now we click Clock Configuration tab. In this area, we change this to 72 MHz. Click OK. This 72 MHz, we're going to divide to get the desired timers. We click the Pinout of Configuration and Timers. We start from TIM2. Select TIM2 and Clock Source, Internal Clock. Configuration parameter setting. We're going to use the prescaler and counter period to get the desired timers. How it works is the frequency is 1 divided by time, so time is 1 divided by frequency. The clock frequency we set to 72 megahertz, so the time is 1 divided by 72 megahertz. So when we divide by the prescaler or counter period, we multiply for the time. Dividing for the frequency mean multiplying for the time. So this is the time. Now if we multiply by 7200, 7200, we get 0.0001 second. So I selected this number to make it simpler. When we get this much second, we can multiply by 2000 to get 200 millisecond, 3000 to get 300 millisecond, 7000 to get 700 millisecond. So we're going to use this number and this number for the prescaler and counter period. Now we go to cube IDE. For the prescaler, we put 7200 and take away 1. And for the counter period, we make it 2000 to get 200 millisecond timer. That's it. Now we for the interrupt, we select the NVIC setting and uh, TIM2 global interrupt we tick. Similarly, we do the other two. TIM3 also, select internal clock, configuration global interrupt tick and parameter setting we change this to 7200 minus 1 and this is 3000 for 300 millisecond and time of 4 also internal clock configuration parameter setting 7200 minus 1 and this is 7000 for 700 millisecond and also we select the NVIC setting, tick the global interrupt. That's all for the timers. Now we can select the pin for the GPIO in output. PA2 for GPIO output, PA3 and 4. GPIO output, GPIO output. That's all the setting. We can click save. In the description of this video, I have provided the code. I have put a website address. When we go there, this one, the diagram is here, the pictures are here, the clock setting calculation is here, Q by D setting is here, we already done. 
and the code is here. For the user code begin to, we start the timers. We copy and paste these three lines. That's in user code begin to. Here, we paste it. So we start timer with interrupt two, three, and four. Next, user code begin four. We do the callback function. We copy from here until here, and we go there. User code begin four. That's all the way down. Yeah, here we paste it. Now we can save. What it does is, whenever the timer elapsed, it will call back, and we check for the instant of the timer. If it is timer two, we toggle the pin two, A two. If it is timer three, we toggle A three. If it is timer four, we toggle A four. Now we can. Use the green button to upload the code. When we can click, click straight away, OK. If sometime if it's a clone board, it won't work. Then we click debugger, and for the probe, select open OCD. Click just show generate option. Go below, and the reset mode is software system reset. This one will work with the, all the board. Click apply. Click OK. It's working. I have uploaded the code. Let's give the power supply. It works like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.